Hi everyone to all OFWs out there! Welcome back to our channel. This is Lourdes Ganang of OFWBusinessIdeas.com As a financial advisor, maraming OFW nagtatanong sa akin, why do they need a life insurance? So in this video, we're going to answer that question, why an OFW needs life insurance? So keep watching! So in today's video, we're going to answer a question that most OFWs ask me, why an OFW needs life insurance? As a financial advisor, I have to explain with you, ano nga ba ang purpose ng life insurance? So if you still have no idea what life insurance can do for you and your family, let's just put it this way. Kapag lalabas ka, sasabihan ka na magdala ng payong in case na umulan. In case na emergency lang na umulan, meron kang gagamitin na payong. Or kapag babiyahe ka, you always make sure na meron kang spare tire. So just in case na masira yung gulong mo, meron kang spare tire na gagamitin. Eh, ganun din naman ang life insurance. Ang life insurance, pwedeng hindi mo siya kailangan, pero kumukuha ka ng life insurance para just in case something happens to you. Like you die unexpectedly, or you get sick, or you get disabled due to an accident. You will have a life insurance that will protect you and your family. So with those illustrations, I hope I was able to illustrate with you or make you realize what life insurance can do for you and your family. Now going back to our question, why does an OFW need life insurance? Paano kung may savings naman siya? Paano kung may investments? Paano kung marami kong real estate properties na accumulate na? Well, we'll never know how much is enough until we actually get sick, we get disabled, or we die unexpectedly, di ba? So number one reason why an OFW needs life insurance is for protection, for your protection and for your family's protection. Kasi we don't know what's really going to happen to us. Pwedeng nakapag-save ka na, nakapag-invest ka na, but what if you get sick? Paano kung nagkaroon ka ng cancer at napauwi ka sa Pilipinas at kahit sabihin mo may mga savings or investment ka na, hindi pa rin enough para mapagamot yung cancer mo. At pwedeng dumating pa sa point na yung mga real estate properties na na-acquire mo ay unti-unting ibenta ng family mo para lang matustusan yung gastusin mo sa pagpapagamot para lang gumaling ka. Alam naman natin kung gaano kamahal ang magpagamot lalo na pag cancer ang sakit mo or, or hindi lang cancer, paano kung tubuan ka pa ng ibang sakit na talagang gagastos ka ng milyon? And because you want to live and you would still want to be with your family, syempre ilalaban mo, di ba? So in case you don't have any existing health insurance that will protect you and your family, lalo na if you acquired a critical illness, then who would suffer? Ikaw rin naman at saka yung pamilya mo. Mahirap naman na umasa lang sa tulong ng mga kamag-anak or sa mga kaibigan just to get by, just for you to get well, especially if it's a critical illness. Now what if you also die unexpectedly? Paano kung wala ka pang naipon? Paano kung kulang pa yung naipon mo? Paano kung kulang pa yung investment mo? How would you then protect your family from the financial disaster of dying too soon? Diba? So that's where life insurance can protect you and your family. Or what if you get into an accident? What if you get disabled? Hindi ka na makakapagtrabaho. Paano kung forever ka na na-disabled? Permanent na yung disability mo? Hindi ka na makakapag-provide sa family mo? And if you don't have life insurance, then who would shoulder the expenses? Kaya ba ng konsensya mo na yung mga anak mo ay hindi na makapagtapos ng pag-aaral when in the first place kaya ka nga nagpunta ng ibang bansa, kaya ka nag-OFW? Eh dahil sa gusto mo silang makatapos ng pag-aaral, you want to give the best life that you could give them. That's why you sacrificed a lot to be an OFW. And suddenly, if you get disabled because of an accident and you could no longer provide for them, mawawala lahat ng pinaghirapan mo. Just because you don't have any life insurance to protect you and your family. Number two is for peace of mind. As parents, di ba lagi nating worry what will happen to our kids if we were suddenly taken away? Because it happens. Hindi naman natin alam kung kailan tayo mawawala sa mundong ito, di ba? So what we can just do is to make sure that we have enough savings or investments for our kids. Eh what if hindi ka abutan nun? What if hindi ka nga nakapag-ipon? What if kulang ang sahod mo para makapag-invest. Ano na lang ang mangyayari sa family mo? If you die unexpectedly, 
not enough pa yung ipon mo or wala ka pang mga investments even for your kids education paano nila itutuloy yung pag-aaral nila so you buy life insurance because it will give you that peace of mind that whatever happens to you it guarantees that your family will not suffer financially how does that work if you buy a life insurance let's say for example yung 2000 pesos mo will give you a 2 million peso coverage if anything happens to you, if you die unexpectedly, then your family will get 2 million pesos. And it will help them a lot. Pwede yung asawa mo could start a business. It will help the kids to continue their education or to pay up the house. Para hindi mailit yung bahay, hindi sila ma-evict doon. Otherwise, they will have no choice. Parang sa teleserye lang, makikitira sila sa mga kamag-anak nila. And paano kung hindi sila tratuhin na tama? That's why buying a life insurance, having a life insurance will give you peace of mind. That your family will not suffer great financial loss. Hindi mangyayari yung mga kinakatakutan mo while you're working abroad. Na paano pag may nangyari sa akin dito? Paano pag namatay ako? Ano na lang mangyayari sa pamilya ko? Number three is security. Kaya ka nga rin nagtatrabaho dyan sa abroad, di ba? Kasi you want to secure your family's financial future. Kaya ka nag-iisip ng mga iba't ibang business ideas para madagdagan palalo yung ipon mo. Nag-iisip ka ako sa mo pwedeng invest ng pera mo because you want to secure your family's financial future. And that's what the life insurance does also. It gives you financial security that no matter what happens, your family's financial future is already assured and secured. So those are the three reasons why an OFW needs life insurance. Kung iisipin mo, eto naman din talaga yung mga reasons why in the first place you decided to become an OFW. It's because you want to protect your family. It's because you want to have peace of mind that your family will have a good life and that you want to secure your family's financial future. So if in case something happens to you, you can be assured that life insurance will be there for you and for your family. For those OFW who doesn't have a life insurance yet or for those who are planning or interested to get a life insurance, you can visit my other website, smartfinancialplanning.info or you can contact me so I can help you get started in getting a life insurance for you and your family. So I hope you have learned something from our video today. Thank you for watching our videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can send us an email and don't forget to visit our website, ofwbusinessideas.com for more OFW business ideas. You can follow us on Instagram and also like us on our Facebook page and don't forget to join our Facebook